We're still in the first piece of Algebra 2, but we're off to a good start. And we did a few sections about sets, and uh, you did the checkup on that. Hopefully you did well. We're into a new section here about graphing numbers on a number line. And uh, talking about that on page 10, 11, 12. First, putting dots on the number line. That should be easy. And then they call it order on page 13 and 14. And that basically just means determining if something is greater than or less than on a number line. So I'm going to draw a number line here, and I'll just randomly put zero in the middle. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So it'd be negative five, negative three. Okay. So if I'm going to graph x is less than five. Well, and by the way, the pace likes to do this. Use that symbol where it says x is the set of all numbers such that x is less than 5. All right, it's good, good terminology to be used to. Um, some other textbooks just use these symbols and don't add the extras. It just looks a little simpler. Um, but it's the same idea. So we're going to graph x is less than 5. Now notice it's not equal to 5. So think of numbers that are less than 5. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, you know, negative numbers. But we also have all of the fractions and decimals. So like 4.9 is actually less than 5. Uh, 4.999 is less than 5, but 5 is not less than 5, okay? So when we graph this, we have to put an open circle over the 5, and then we would draw a line, a solid line over top, showing that everything this direction satisfies this condition of x being less than 5. All right, here x is greater than negative 2, So I didn't draw that very neatly, but uh, you get the idea. If you use graph paper, this works great, okay? So this is x is greater than or equal to negative 2. Now notice on this graph, I drew it so that the symbol is in the middle. So the two, negative 2 is in the middle. And then it's greater than, and think about it, negative 1 is greater than negative 2. And 0 is greater than negative 2, and so is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So everything to the right is greater but there's something else we're not done with this one this one also says or equal to so in that case negative 2 is equal to negative 2 this symbol here is kind of like taking a greater than symbol and an equal symbol and merging them together okay <clears throat> so that means I need to fill in the circle All right pretty easy one other thing I want to point out and if you get confused, and some students do, trying to keep track whether this is less than or greater than, okay? Notice that the arrow on the end here is pointing the direction that this arrow needs to go, all right? The other way to picture it is that the smallest number is closest to the point. It's always pointing to the smaller one. The one next to the wide part is the bigger number, the larger number. Now notice in this one, and again, correct symbols would be t, the set of t such that negative 2 is less than t and t is less than 1. All right? <clears throat> this means it's meeting two conditions at the same time. t has to at the same time be greater than negative 2 and it has to also be less than negative 1, both conditions. Now, the way this is drawn lends itself very easily to graphing it because what this means is t is between these two numbers. Negative 2 is the smallest, 1 is the largest, and it lies between those two. So in graphing it, I'm going to do negative 3 just so I have a number to the left of it here. Negative 1, 0, 1, 2. So I'm going to put an open circle over negative 2 and an open circle over 1. All right. And then we connect them. So it's everything in between. Negative 1 is greater than negative 2, but negative 1 is less than 1. 0 is greater than negative 2, but it is less than 1. So everything underneath here, including all of these fractions and decimals, meet both conditions.
Now this one's a little bit different. This one says x is less than or equal to 4 or x is greater than 9. Okay, so this one, there are not going to be numbers between these two. Instead, we have some going this way and some going that way. So an or is going in opposite directions. So I'm just going to quick draw the 4, the 9, and we'll pretend like we have other numbers here, okay? So the 4 means it's going this direction. And notice I filled it in because it's or greater than, or I mean or equal to. Over here, though, it's greater than 9, so it's just an open circle. And then we go to the right because it's greater than 9. So basically, it's everything this direction, everything that direction, and the only thing that does not satisfy both conditions is right here in the middle. Okay? So that's what an or looks like. Technically, this is called an and, a conjunction. Sometimes it's called a disjunction, but the paste doesn't call you that, so why should I add that terminology? I don't want to confuse you, okay? But hopefully, uh, this will be enough to help you get set up to do those couple of pages with um, graphing um, number lines.